Alright, so I'd like to do another video about my Atari XE. I've got, this is the SIO to SD device, which reads the uh, SD cards. really well because I can use uh, the game controller and navigate through the programs uh, that way and also uh, it allows me to uh, so I mounted a bunch of images on I can do up to about I believe it's eight drives so I've mounted um, some programs to those drives or mounted you know basically I have them in there so that they'll uh, so they'll execute one thing I like to show is I'll change this one on on drive five so I have this, it's in, it's in the tools when I got it, it's called an S, uh, it's just this program here called SIO2SD, and I go into there, and it takes me into the menu with all of the, um, with all the um, things that you'll want. Uh, so for example, here I got, my hair. so if, say I want to go to drive five, and that was a typing program. So I want to try another program, so I'll go A Games, and uh, I'll go with Executables, um, B, and uh, let's go with uh, B for actually, it just throws the letters down one letter, but, so I'll try O, okay. So I have Asteroids, Asteroids Battle, Asteroids IS2K, hmm. I'll try this so on here, this Asteroids IS2K. So there, it's loaded it up onto the part of the SIO. So instead of having to go through this drive, which I found a little bit annoying in the first video, uh, going into this interface allows me to use this, and it's, 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 it makes it much more easier to read and to uh, put everything in, into place. So uh, the instructions at the bottom is this, X to restart. So this will go through all your directories when you're trying to set up how you want to run your executables. So I have it on five. So I just uh, what it does is it will just boot back into my Pico DOS. It's kind of the well, it's the DOS, the operating system, which is kind of cool to have an operating system um, for my Atari that I can execute my games with. So so there's the asteroids. I hit number five for drive five. And uh, Asteroids 2K. Oh, it's a paddle game. I don't have a paddle with me. Um, but anyway, loaded up the game. I don't have a paddle right here. I paddled in the other room in a box somewhere. So that loaded up that game. Let me just show you another game. Uh, let me go into. So I bought, went back into my Pico DOS, Pico DOS. I, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but uh, so I can go into this one where it has all the demos and stuff. So I can go down here and execute the demo ball demo, which is like the uh, classic Amiga uh, demo ball thingy where the ball's bouncing around. It's on Amigas. It's on everything. Uh, you've probably seen that before. restart it. So I'm going to uh, show you this one thing I, I thought was really cool. I'm not going to play it too much, but Warsaw Tech Tech as ease. It's basically it's Tetris. Uh, Tetris on the Atari XE, which I thought was pretty cool to have it. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It doesn't look, you know, it doesn't have the detail to it, but it has the colors. It's going to load. There, it's loading something. There we go. So I just go through the blocks and I play a game of Tetris on Atari, on the Atari 8 big computer. So this is pretty neat. Um, seeing 
Tetris. The only thing is when you hit down, you, you're committing to where you're setting your blocks. So that's Tetris. I'm just gonna, I'm not really playing the best game of Tetris here, but yeah, I've cleared one line. So I'm gonna reboot the computer. So another game I like. The My Pico makes it great though for using it with this because then it makes it really easy to um, uh, it makes it really easy to be able to just go through the discs and images I have, I'm finding. I'm gonna play a little bit of a Spy Hunter. I love this game on the Commodore 64, and then I never knew that it was actually available on the Atari uh, XE, but I'm kind of glad it is, because um, I love Spy Hunter. into the back of the truck. And then I turn into a boat. Oh, but I crashed into the boathouse. Oh, that's a disappointing. Well, thanks for uh, coming here and watching this video. Uh, please check out my previous video about the SIO to SD device that I put together where I just did the unboxing and uh, set it up on my Atari XE. And now that I've learned how to do some more uh, things with it, I'm uh, excited to show a little bit of game footage that's running off of the SD card that I was able to get to work with this. So um, please give this video a like share and subscribe and uh, forgive the ads but the ads do help um, me support uh, doing what I'm doing it makes it makes helps me make a little bit of revenue doing my YouTube channel just so that I can um, maybe uh, work toward having a little bit of a budget for this channel uh, usually I go over budget but it's good to make a little bit off of off of that um, so uh, if you've enjoyed these videos please uh, give us a comment uh, if you uh, were a Spy Hunter fan growing up, uh, uh, let me know in the comments down below.
And please come um, like and share my page for my videos. And join my gr join this group here for free satellite TV in North America and over the air streaming. And I've also opened up this new page here, Free Satellite TV One at, on Facebook. But I'm just going to keep that information. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep that just to relevant to newer people.